Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 laptop for art student. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is HP Chromebook. HP Chromebook, when scouring the depths of the bargain laptop bin, you shouldn't expect much other than competent internet browsing and word processing abilities still, there's always a chance you might strike gold. The Dell Chromebook or the Lenovo Chromebook Duet are excellent examples of sub-laptops unfortunately, the HP Chromebook has not. This tested 11-inch Chromebook, equipped in our test model with a touchscreen, is a usable laptop non-touch models start at, but only if you look past the cramped keyboard and balky touchpad, even premium Chromebooks rarely pack impressive computing components, and that's especially true when you're on a budget. The HP Chromebook comes equipped with just storage those are unacceptably low amounts of storage in Windows PC, but they're par for the course for a budget Chromebook. In what is surely a cost-cutting decision, the HP Chromebook doesn't make use of an or Intel processor, instead opting for a Mediatek processor. Mediatek and other base chips are often found in low-end Chromebook and typically perform slower than their Intel and Brethren. Here's how to choose the best laptop processor. Besides the less than stellar specs, the HP Chromebook is a smart-looking device. The Chromebook is slim and light, especially when compared with other inch machines, like the Acer Chromebook Spin R. Review unit came in ash gray though, you'd be forgiven if you thought it was black, but the laptop is also available in indigo, blue and snow white, the overall build of the machine is acceptable, though opening and closing the lid of that laptop doesn't exactly feel the smoothest. Pushing the laptop screen all the way back actually gives the machine a slight tilt, which is nice for those who can't stand the idea of typing on a flat keyboard. Underneath you'll find two rubber strips that do a good enough job at keeping your laptop stable and preventing any sliding around, but the smaller screen size does keep hazy vistas to a minimum. That wouldn't be the case if the Chromebook were any larger but maintained the same screen resolution, like the 14-inch HP Chromebook, the display and build quality are as good as you can reasonably expect for such a cheap machine, but the keyboard and trackpad are disappointing even by budget laptop standards. The keyboard feels cramped, but that's to be expected from such a small laptop, for the most part typing is fine, though the keycaps feel cheap to the touch. Because the keys are so close together, I found myself accidentally pressing the wrong keys frequently in particular, I smashed the power button located just above the backspace key a few times while typing this review. While that may just be the result of larger hands working across a smaller keyboard, if you've had a similar problem on other 11-inch machines, you're likely to have it here. The number 4 on the list is LG Gram. LG Gram, the case for choosing a laptop with a jumbo screen one larger than has never been stronger. The much improved LG Gram, with a gorgeous 17-inch display, is exhibit number 1. This laptop is fresh for with an generation Intel Core i7 processor, a redesigned keyboard and touchpad, and a sleek black livery even better, it continues to stay below 3 pounds to be precise. It's unquestionably the best 17-inch laptop you can buy if you're not a gamer or multimedia content creator, once upon a time it made little sense for mainstream users to consider the very biggest screen laptops because they were invariably heavy and bulky. Five or more years ago, a gaming rig with a 17-inch display and a reasonably powerful CPU and graphics card would set you back around and weigh at least 6 pounds. But what if you don't want all that processing power and expense, what if you just want a big display and everything else is secondary, when LG first introduced this unique ultra portable, there was little to recommend it other than an impressive screen and weight that seemed to defy the laws of physics. But the underwhelming has seeded the stage to an all new edition for dot the lightweight chassis and brilliant HD screen remain, but LG got serious about the rest of the user experience. This means not only a better keyboard and touchpad, but also a better looking laptop that boasts Intel's latest silicon and incredible battery life from the outside the gram doesn't look particularly large. The thin font gram logo is embossed on the display lid in silver, while the rest of the lid is an uninterrupted expanse of black magnesium alloy. It looks much better than the gray exterior of the previous Gram 17 model, which featured curved edges perhaps an attempt at retro styling, but mostly just stodgy looking, the Gram might not weigh very much, but neither is it flimsy. 
LG says it's passed orchard tests against road hazards like shock, vibration, rain, dust and temperature, and humidity extremes the certification provides some reassurance that LG didn't get chintzy to get below 3 pounds. But the Gram 17 also feels sturdy to the touch. The number 3 on the list is HP Envy. HP Envy, even premium HP Envy rarely pack impressive computing components, and that's especially true when you're on a budget. The comes equipped with just storage those are unacceptably low amounts of storage and Windows PC blue and snow white the overall build of the machine is acceptable, though opening and closing the lid of the laptop doesn't exactly feel the smoothest. Pushing the laptop screen all the way back actually gives the machine a slight tilt, which is nice for those who can't stand the idea of typing on a flat keyboard. Underneath you'll find two rubber strips that do a good enough job at keeping your laptop stable and preventing any sliding around, but the smaller screen size does keep hazy vistas to a minimum. When scouring the depths of the bargain laptop bin, you shouldn't expect much other than competent internet browsing and word processing abilities still, there's always a chance you might strike gold. HP Envy is a usable laptop, non-touch models start at, but only if you look past the cramped keyboard and balky touchpad, disappointing even by budget laptop standards. The keyboard feels cramped, but that's to be expected from such a small laptop, for the most part typing is fine, though the keycaps feel cheap to the touch. Because the keys are so close together, I found myself accidentally pressing the wrong keys frequently in particular, I smashed the power button located just above the backspace key a few times while typing this review. While that may just be the result of larger hands working across a smaller keyboard. The number two on the list is Asus ZenBook. Asus ZenBook, the Asus ZenBook is the new look version of Asus's flagship Ultrabook series for refining the theory rather than reinventing the wheel. The ZenBook is slimmer than its counterpart, but it's available in the same trademark Asus dark blue, and once again the trackpad doubles as a numeric keypad, a feature we've seen on ZenBooks for quite a while now. To see where the new ZenBook won better than last year's models, you need to look under the hood they feature more date Intel processors, Alder Lake Gen Tiger Lake. The latest chips feature more cores, allowing you to run more things at once, as well as promising an overall boost in performance. The presence of Alder Lake P also means that the new ZenBook can come with newer and a Wi-Fi module in simple terms, this means that stuff should run a bit more quickly than before, and also your Wi-Fi will be a bit faster provided you're connected to a fancy new router, Asus ZenBook laptops have long been stylish and snazzy, and the is no exception. It's a very slim looking device that you'll be able to easily stow away in a messenger bag or rucksack. It follows design cues set by previous ZenBook, but instead of the usual concentric spun metal jackets, Asus has etched lines from its Star Trek logo into a flat finish. The usual curved corners are also out, with Asus now opting for a more angular look the deck is trapezoidal, with the widest part facing up aesthetically, it's still miles away from something like the Asus, but it's a step change. The classic Asus element is present here, the shape of the laptop's degree hinge sees, the deck slightly raised up off of the surface of your desk when opened, this supposedly serves two purposes. It means that the keyboard is tilted slightly towards your hands, allowing for more comfortable typing, and it also means that warm air from the air vents on the bottom can escape the system with greater ease, although Asus has added a second air vent on the left hand edge too. The effect here is less pronounced than on older models, but still noticeable while the second air vent takes up a lot of space which could have otherwise been given up to ports, the keyboard layout is largely sensible, and the keys snap back nicely. The keycaps feel a little thin, but there are no telltale signs of wobble or anything that gives me cause for concern. Everything feels reassuringly sturdy. I could see myself using this as a daily driver for the next few years. There are however a couple of specific grumbles. The enter and the hash keys are too closely located, and the enter key itself is too small for my liking. A lot of Asus laptops have a similar keyboard layout, so if you've used a ZenBook before, you're probably familiar with this setup, but there wasn't a day during testing when I didn't accidentally type when I meant to create a line break, this is a nifty time-saving feature in practice, it's very awkward to use because sometimes, when you're trying to type in, the trackpad will sometimes correctly interpret your finger stabs and see a number appear on the calculator and then the result once you hit the equals sign. Other times it won't and you'll just move the mouse cursor a bit instead of typing, 
you'll find that it's actually interpreted that as, then you try to delete everything by pressing the back button which sometimes doesn't work number pad very much feels like a solution looking for a problem. There's no way to permanently turn it off in the settings either. At least you can easily turn it off again should you accidentally engage it. It's a shame to moan because the trackpad measuring a generous in is otherwise great. It's well positioned easy to use and super responsive requiring no sensitivity adjustment in the settings. The touchscreen likewise responds well to swishes and inputs, and even though you can't fold the Zen book up and use it like a tablet, being able to thumb through documents and game menus is pretty handy. The number one on the list is Acer Aspire. Acer Aspire, if you are looking for a budget laptop for your daily tasks and you don't know which model to choose, the Acer Aspire lineup of computers, ranked among the best low-priced laptops on the market, may be the perfect solution for you and your wallet. One of those models is the Acer Aspire. A balanced laptop packed with an efficient gen processor, a vibrant full HD screen, high-speed Wi-Fi connectivity, and an excellent battery life, amongst many other features. For its killer price it meets all the requirements, for most people especially those needing a cheap and robust build laptop with decent performance for everyday use, though it should be pointed out that it's not for gamers or hardcore users, on the other hand the Intel graphics is capable enough to play the most popular multimedia content, allowing you to stream smoothly and play the diagrams that are resource heavy. We should note that since the screen features a full HD definition you're going to need to connect an external monitor to content in terms of storage, the Acer Aspire comes with a solid state drive, perfect for applications and your personal information however in the long run, it may be necessary to upgrade your storage either through an external drive or through the installation of a new storage unit within the device. Something we will be covering soon.